I'm collecting funds for the May Day Ball. Would you like to contribute? The year's almost over, and you won't need your allowance for anything else. Um... I wanted to go to the mall, though. <laughs> I need that amulet! Um... Let's tell them we're broke. <laughs> because we won't have enough. Well, actually, we get our allowance, right? When do we get our allowance? Saturday? Saturday morning and the allowances are delivered. It sounds correct, but I'm not sure. So, but if we donate five, we'll be under 60 and we need 60. So let's just say we're broke. Sorry, I'm broke. I see. Well, thank you all the same. I'm sorry, little Manuel. I mean, Manuel. Manuel. On my way out of the room, I find a little envelope with my name on it and a blue flower. It must be a note from Damien, but how did it get here? Ooh, a new secret admirer? Um, let me see. Wait! But before I can stop her, she snatches the envelope from my hands. Give that back! What's going on? She stole my mail. I'll give it back in a minute. <sighs> Please! Please! She opens the envelope and pulls out a card. I cringe, hoping he hasn't said anything too incriminating. Wait a minute. This card is blank. Phew! Serves you right, peeking at someone else's things. Sorry! I grab the envelope back and stuff it into my pocket. I better get some distance from these two before I take a closer look. I can't believe he would really send a blank letter. Oh god. Um, at first glance, the card inside is empty of text, but when I touch it, I see letters start to form. Dear Kate, I'm doing better now. Seeing you... Seeing you was the splash of cold water I needed to drag myself from the waking nightmare I've been living. I've begun to assemble what remains of my resources and taken a hotel room under an alias and a glamour. You should be pleased to hear that I have also had a shower and a meal, <laughs> though although the food here is nothing compared to the Glen, I will need my strength in order to plan a new life now that everything is gone. I've keyed this letter to your blood so that it should appear blank to eavesdroppers. I will write to you again soon. Yours, Damien. Well, I guess he's pulling himself together a bit now. That's good, right? Blue magic. Yay! Morning hallway. There's another message from Damien. This time I managed to get it out of the way before prying eyes can see. Dear Kate, I don't know what to do. I was meant to be a prince of demons, to ascend in power and carve out my own otherworld territory. I've sworn I have s I have sworn minions and alliances waiting for my call, and a castle of my own. Small and crude, only a starting point, but mine. But I can't bring you there alive, not for years until you have the strength. Would you like to live in a castle? I should have asked. I can live somewhere else as long as you'll come and see me. I need you. I'll conquer the world for you if you want. That would be cool. I want to live in a castle. Tell me how I can please you. I don't know what to do. Yours, Damien. I can't exactly tell him how to please me when he hasn't left a return address. No doubt. Conquer the world for me, huh? I bet he'd kill people for me if I asked him to. Oh dear, he probably would. I'd better get to class. Yay! Success in black magic. We're almost at level 50 again. Or I can't remember what levels we were at. I'm pretty sure we were pretty close to 50. Oh god, another note from Damien. He's, try he's beginning to suffocate me a little bit. Like, I need some space. Dear Kate, would you like servants? I can give you that. Would you like jewels, silk gowns, a seat in government? Would you like to see a unicorn? They don't often leave the other world, but one could be summoned. Dragons are easier. Are there enemies that you wish me to punish? I could crush them or force them to worship you. Whichever you'd like. Anything you'd like if you will be mine. Yours, Damien. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about what he might think of next to impress me. I'm freaking out a little bit. Yay! We got to level 50! Um, 
caused creatures in the surrounding physical area to be drawn to the caster. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, okay, when I look outside I can't find a note anywhere. Did I miss it? Virginia didn't say anything about finding one. I hope he hasn't run off to do anything crazy. I don't have any enemies for him to enslave, at least. Oh, <sighs> Back up to 40! On Saturday morning, the mail and allowances are delivered. There's a letter for me. No flower this time, but I recognize Damien's handwriting. I stash it in a pocket out of sight. I go to the library to find some privacy and quiet to look over my mail. This letter is different from the others. It is a full letter, not a card, and the top of the paper contains the return address at last. I can write back if I want to answer what he says. My love, you are that, don't you know? My downfall, my greatest weakness, and my beloved. Beloved. Or beloved. Uh -huh. The sight of you brought me out of my madness, but brought me to a new danger, for you can crush me with a word. For you can crush- yeah. I need you more than life. It was wrong of me to offer to crush your enemies, wasn't it? I shouldn't do such things, unless you want me to. <laughs> I am not a good person, Kate. I will never be a hero or a saint. My first impulses will always be cruel ones. But I can hold them back if you want me to. I need you to guide me. I need you to give me direction or I am lost. You've torn my world apart and only you can put it back together. I want to pledge myself to you and only you. I want it to be public. I want everyone to see me kneel to you, to see that you have claimed me and I have been defeated and I belong to you. I want to be yours as you are mine. But of course it is too soon for you to accept my eternal fealty. Fealty? Fealty. I would be happy with the next best thing. I would like to be your escort to the May Day Ball. Uh, unfortunately, there is a problem with that plan. I am no longer welcome on the Iris Academy grounds. Will you fight my cause with Potsdam? Yours always did. Oh. <laughs> I sigh and fan my face absently with his letter. Oh, Damien. Dramatic as always. Is he really willing to face the whole school, most of whom hate him? Some of whom would probably like to attack him on sight and declare that he's my guy for keeps? For keepsies? Or is this just a trick to get Professor Potsdam to lift the wards and let him back into the school? He's fooled me before. Do I even want to go to the ball with him? I still don't know what he is. Not really. Some sort of prince of demons. I use used to servants and dark powers. And he wants to be mine. To do whatever I tell him. I could wield him like a weapon. Or mold him into a better man. <sighs> See, now I like, if this were before the whole thing happened, with him trying to like suck out my soul, I probably would have pled with Potsdam right away. But I don't know. I'm kind of nervy. And now I can't go to the mall and get my freaking amulet. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> okay. Just because I'm curious, we're going to plead with Potsdam. It was Professor Potsdam who banished Damien from the school because he was dangerous and evil, but surely she must believe in the power of love. And no matter what other questions there might be, I think it's clear that he does love me. And plus, if we are going to Professor Potsdam, um, she'll be able to like make sure he's not going to be evil. You know what I mean? Because remember she was talking before about... Um, saying, did you make any demands in return and stuff like that. She'll know what to do if she wants to go with this. You want me to do what? I I know it sounds strange, but my leveret. If I didn't know better, I would worry that he had cast a spell on you. Have you so soon forgotten that Mr. Ramsey nearly killed you? But he didn't. He couldn't. 
He had already changed his mind before you arrived. Even if you believe that, he wounded you badly. Perhaps he changed his mind. Perhaps he will change it again. Can you truly trust him? I don't know, but if he's really giving up all his evil plans and looking for a fresh start, don't you want to encourage that? He has had four years of second chances. I gave him every opportunity to abandon his scheme. You knew what he was planning to do? I know many things. I had my hopes for that young man and his future. But the line has been crossed and I must not show him any support now. You said yourself Damien hasn't committed. You said yourself Damien hasn't committed a cr any crime. And I said myself that it did not matter. Not for me and not for this school. Do you hear that, all of you? Oh, my weird went up. It's only at that point that I look around and realize we have an audience. Other students staring at me as if they think I've lost my mind. There are acts for which being sorry is not good enough. Gaining the forgiveness of your victim is not good enough. Being technically legal is not good enough. You do not cross me. Whoa, jeez. Little sparks fly from the ends of her multicolored hair. With the way she acts, sometimes it's easy to forget that she's a very old and very powerful witch. Now, if that was all you wanted? <sighs> she leaves me alone in a crowd of whispers. Damien and brainwashing being first among them. I guess I'll have to write to Damien and tell him that he's not allowed to come to the ball. What else should I do today? Oh, we can go to the mall. <laughs> Let's go to the mall. What should I do at the mall today? Let's go to the magic store, shall we? Since we won't have enough for the sextant, um, we may as well just get the amulet, right? Black magic plus 30! Um, we have enough for protective gear. Uh, special fabric keeps your hands from sacred fire. Strength plus 5. Red magic plus 30. No. Uh, wiggle wand. There's something odd about a wand with tentacles. Everything goes up. Including weird, so maybe no. <laughs> Star wand. This adorable fairy godmother wand is charged with all the colors of magic. My cute will go up. No shame in that. <laughs> um, maybe we should just get this. I mean, the amulet. I don't know what the amulet looks like. Um, I'm assuming that this wand looks like the one from Cinderella with the little star on the end. Um... Hmm. I mean, if we take um, the amulet, we can wear that and we'll have the tiara, the amulet, and the wand. But if we get the star wand, oh yeah, it's a star. Um, we'll just have the star wand and the tiara. Um, oh, let's just go with this one because it raises all of them, which will be pretty cool. Only raises them by five, but it's still all right. Let's buy that. Thank you. Uh, nineteen dollars. We have enough for glasses. We can buy glasses, everyone. Um, let's get this too. May as well. I mean, it's almost the end of the school year, right? All right, we're done. Let's see what those glasses look like. Oh my god. Morning dorm room. Oh no, she heard. Kate. What? Is it true? Did you really forgive Damien? What? You wouldn't. Well, that's not exactly what happened. Oh, really? Because I heard that you asked Professor Possum to let him come to the ball because he's your boyfriend now. That's kind of true, but... Kate! What is wrong with you? On top of everything else, he actually tried to kill you. He changed his mind. <laughs> That is no excuse. 
How could you? How could you forgive him after all that? 